Okay, we want to talk quickly about what multiplicity is. So multiplicity of a polynomial is commenting basically on the roots of the equation and what properties they take on. So if we look at the roots here, clearly there is a root at x equals 3 and a root at x equals negative 2. And that's because the y value is 0 when those are the x values. Um, the multiplicity of these roots is slightly different. We can see that the root at where x is minus 2, it bounces off the x-axis. Um, that means that if we write the equation of this graph, we don't exactly know what it is, but we can write sort of the general form. We know x plus 2 must be a factor, and we know x minus 3 must be a factor, because if you plug these x values in, um, we'll get 0 for y. Now, we don't necessarily know what the um, exponents are on these two graph on these two uh, factors, but let's call the one here k and the one here q for now. What we do know is the multiplicity of k. That's again the exponent on the factor x plus two, so that's focused on this root. Must be even, so k must be even. And the reason we know that is because it bounces off the x-axis. Um, that should be pretty, you know, intuitive. So if k is 2, for instance, either side of x being negative 2 will make the value um, either both positive or both negative, depending on if there's a coefficient in front. Versus q, it goes through the root, so from one side to the other of the x-axis, so it must be odd. So that's really all that multiplicity is commenting on is, is this root, uh, will it have an even exponent or an odd exponent? And that's totally based on whether it bounces off the x-axis or goes right through it. So let's say we're actually given this entire equation and it's, let's say, negative 2, I'm just making this up, but x plus 2 to the 2 and x minus 3 to the 1 there, we don't write it, then we would say that negative 2 is a root with multiplicity 2. And it's multiplicity 2 because this is the exponent on the root in factored form. So that could, that could have just as easily been to the power of 6, and then it would be multiplicity 6. Versus 3, 3 is a root multiplicity 1. So we can comment one, and that's also called a simple root sometimes. Um, so we can comment on whether the uh, multiplicity is even or odd based on the picture, and then from the full equation, we can comment on the exact value of the multiplicity. So in this case, it was 2 and 1. So hopefully that clears up multiplicity. Again, it's just a way of saying, oh, this root will bounce off the x-axis versus this root has the graph go straight through it. Thanks so much. You can always email us more questions, info at arnoldtutoring.com.